What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Banky101, coming at you today with a little bit of info, I guess, a little bit of a talking about the 12 days of Christmas that we got for Infinite Warfare. And if you're asking yourself right now, why does Banky sound like Barry Manilow? I've been sick. I've been very sick, and I've been trying to push through it. And tonight, I'm going to push through it just so that I can get you guys some content. I don't want to take too much time off. You guys will just have to deal with me having a little bit of a funny voice. So let's jump into it. So we had the 12 days of Winter Event by Infinite Warfare, and they gave us... I'll show a display on the screen now. We got about 60 keys on day... Well, 20 keys on day 2, 40 keys on day 7, which was 60 keys. We got Salvage on 2 days, which was 700... Uh, salvage, we got a random uh, supply drop opening, we got a new reticle, we got a accessory, that little snowman guy, we got a calling card, we got a really decent uh, camo, and then we got three guns. And I am showing what you got on the very last day, which I think is pretty darn epic. If you no, I already did a video on the K-Bar, and I think it's a pretty damn good gun. And on top of that, you get a nuclear. So you can use this if you get a 25-player kill streak. You get a deatomizer strike. Also, it has increased ammo, which is nice when you're actually going for that deatomizer strike. And just all in all, the K-Bar is a very good gun. So for them to give this out is really nice. Um, if they were to put this into supply drops, this would be definitely pretty hard to pick up uh, you'd have to spend quite a bit of money uh, trying or a lot of time collecting keys to be able to pick up this so here I'm showing you the K bar you can't change the camo on it at all and it's rocking the uh, snowball guy and also what I have noticed that if you uh, go into your quartermaster and you go into the armory and you go into the prototype lab this gun is not there um, it's not on the mission teams it's not in the quartermaster collection the only way that you're gonna know if you have one of these guns or if you logged on all three times to actually have those guns is to actually go in create a class and to select the gun it'll be in your list of guns there and that's the only way to know. Um, so let's take a look at the cat. Here's the camel that they gave away. And I think it looks pretty decent on this gun, but it looks even better on here. So you go over, and it's in your extras. And look at that. I think that's amazing. I really think they should have some camos that actually fully do this for all of the guns, even the accessories that you equip with them. And also, I think that we're to the point where when they do epic camos like this, they have to have some sort of effect. They showed us the blood splatter camo uh, in the last uh, DLC release that they did. Uh, so basically, the more kill streaks that you have, the more blood splatter that'll cover the camo or show up on the camo. They could have easily done something like that with the with the frost on this um, to have a frost changing as you do your kill streaks, um, or just some sort of effect like when you shoot your gun, it has like some sort of like snowball poof or something like that comes out the end of your barrel. I really think that would be cool. I also think that these little accessories that they add on. Um, they should do something with like special abilities uh, depending on what accessory you have equipped gives your gun some sort of like little perk or special ability so that's what I wanted to show you I really think that if you missed out on getting any of this free stuff you definitely missed out um, they're giving it away for free um, there I don't know I only think that they do this event obviously 12 days of winter during the winter so you'll have to wait till the next Call of Duty comes out to get something like that you can't pick any of this up um, through supply drops or anything like that. So none of you, if you haven't gotten this already, are going to be able to rock it. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about the 12 Days of Winter event. I think it was pretty good. 
Um, let me also know what you guys think or if you guys have any thoughts on what they should be doing with these legendary camos or these epic camos. Uh, if you think that they should be doing a little bit more with them. I think this is pretty good, but I think they need to start stepping it up. Also with these accessories, it's super easy to program in uh, to be able to do some sort of special ability to your gun with what, with what you have equipped. So whether they do it in this Call of Duty, they can definitely do it in the next Call of Duty. Let me know your thoughts. Hit me up in those comments below, hit that thumbs up, and like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.